Yo, this band with a great with rap sardine. My name is Bama the Great. I'm from here, Montgomery, Alabama, and I, I do rap music. I got inspired by it because of my uncle or whatever. And uh, just watching how he would vibe off music and stuff when I was little. And I was like, I want to make somebody move like that too. I want to be able to do that, you know what I'm saying? So that's when I started writing music, which was the fifth grade. And been writing music ever since, but I ain't started getting serious for real, for real until like three years ago. I say probably like a blend of like up north and south, because even though I'm from here, I used to live in Michigan for a long time. Then I even lived in Texas too, and then I came back. So it's kind of like a mixture of that. I do it kind of different. I know a lot of people, they like to go in there and freestyle, all that. Me, I kind of think about it. I put it together, I actually put it together in my head, and then I'll go jot it down to my phone, you know what I'm saying? And then go and record. That's how I do it. What does it mean to me, like the name? Well, Bama, it came, it came from, of course, because Alabama, but when I was in Texas, uh, I tell people my name Jawan, which that's a part of my first name. And for some reason, they, Jawan, it just when I roll off their tongue, they will always say Jordan, or they even say John. And I'm like, nah, that, my, my name Jawan. So after a while, I got tired of saying that, so I was like, just just call me Bama, because I'm from Alabama. And it just kind of stuck, you know what I'm saying? It was one of them situations. Probably the one with uh, me featuring my partner Slade Powder and uh, Project Pack. First song, um, I'm gonna say player shit. I feel like I was really in my bag on that shit because I like just really, just different experiences. I just really drew from it and really painted pictures. You know what I'm saying? Like. I say play a shit, and that's on my album, Southline Baby, so make sure y'all check that out. Uh, it wasn't, it was actually in 2022. It was for Breakout Artists of the Year um, with the Alabama Awards and stuff like that, so that was pretty cool. Oh yeah, absolutely. A lot of learning experiences, um, especially with like different investments and stuff like that. Learning what to do and what not to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lost a lot of money, made a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? It's just you know, my balance. You know, but um, this year uh, I'm actually nominated for uh, Next to Blow artist and. Uh, album of the year so that's supposed to be next month at the uh, on the 28th so go check that out i'm pretty confident that i won though because like uh, my face i say i say out of all my platforms i say on facebook is really where it really be booming for real so i got a lot of votes you know what i'm saying so i'm pretty confident i'm gonna win just being honest I plan on trying to shoot like a movie or something. You know what I'm saying? I already wrote the script out and every I got all that stuff, so that's another thing I want to get into. So that and dropping the album with my partner, uh, There Will Be Blood 2, uh, Slave Powder, me and him, we did one before in 2021, There Will Be Blood, so make sure y'all check that out. Uh, lyrical, metaphors. If you really the type of person that like bars, you appreciate that art, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, There Will Be Blood. So then we're gonna drop There Will Be Blood too. I'm thinking like maybe like September, October. We don't wanna just rush it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the first one, it actually did pretty good out there in Georgia, cause I actually stayed out there for a while too. So I just kinda been like all over the place. And uh, it did pretty good out there. We did a few videos for that, which that's on YouTube and the singles is, you know, streaming everywhere, all that good stuff. So make sure y'all check that out. Bama the Great and Slay Powder, there will be blood.
honestly, it, it it's a it's, it's a hobby for me, but at the same time, I do want to be heard. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, I really, past two years, I just been dropping consistently. I'm always doing something, chopping up a video, doing a freestyle, just something. Cause I know that's what it takes. You gotta keep showing yourself. You gotta keep showing the people. Otherwise, I mean, it's just not personal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess like as not only an artist, but to be somebody that can be relatable to the people too. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, you know, I post me from doing a freestyle or some shit, and then you will see me post some some silly shit. You know what I'm saying? Make people laugh or whatever. But really, just to get them. A lot of times too, it is to get them to engage. You know what I'm saying? I put a lot of silly, funny shit out there. But really, I'm getting it ready just so I can drop this new single. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's just kind of one of my strategies, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, in a sense or whatever. And, uh, and I had a, I had like a following before I was serious about the music, I guess I'd say that. So that kind of helped me in, with an advantage in a sense, you know what I'm saying? So it was a challenge as far as me trying to convinced them that I was I was an artist too at first. You know what I'm saying? Like I put a little bit here and there. I'm like, all right, that's all right, but what what the funny shit at like, you know what I'm saying? I could tell, you know, so it took a while, but I say like probably like a like maybe like a year in, then I could tell people were starting to be like kinda coming at me as a like as far as me being an artist and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Or wanna work with me or stuff like that. So I'm like Okay, I think they starting to see now. And once once I felt like they were starting to see me as an artist, that's when I really started just really putting stuff out there. I still put the funny stuff, whatever, you know. Sometimes I even put some informative shit too, if you ever notice that. Like, I'll be some silly stuff, but then it'll be some shit that you can learn from or something you might want to research, all that type of stuff. So I just kind of, I just got a, my, own, my own way of doing it. If this is what you really want, go for it. Don't don't let people talk you out of it. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of artists who are, I'm talking about dope, but they have let people talk them out of what they love to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, nah, fuck that, man. Just, if that's what you really like to do, you love to do that, go hard. But you, if you're gonna do it, do it for real. So I work with my cousin on my album. Her name is Lady Fi. Uh, she did a lot of work back in the day in the city uh, with different artists and stuff, and um, I figured we, we should do you know do something together, or whatever. And it, it, it's actually one of the songs that's doing pretty good on the album, as far as the streams and you know all that you know statistics or whatever. Um, who else? Um, dude named Big Drip. Uh, he's from here. Um, that's about it. Um, but I do plan to work with uh, Rubber Band, OG, um, Supernard, um, Loose Sane. It's a few of them, but I'm trying to put something together. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of taking some time. But that's just what's in my head or whatever. But eventually, you know, bring out to reality type shit. But, but yeah, that's pretty much it though. Okay, so YouTube, Bama the Great, Facebook, Bam, the Bam of the Great page is not really active. It's more like my personal page, which is Jawan Beeman. But you can go on Bam of the Great page and you will find a link. It's like right there to my personal page, but it's Jawan Beeman. We got IG, uh, Bam of the Great 01, and Gmail, uh, Bam of the Great 01 at gmail.com. If you want a word, you know, that good stuff. This is Bama the Great and we will wrap sardines and this is me signing off. We out.